All right, uh, homework three, slide nine. Given the battleship and enemy ships A and B lie along a straight line, A, B, neglect air friction, a battleship simultaneously fires two shells with the same initial velocity at these two enemy ships. If the shells follow the parabolic trajectories, trajectory is just another word for path, paths shown in the figure which ship gets hit first so this is a conceptual question um at the same v not the projectile that goes higher spins more time in the air and another way of saying this is that the projectile that doesn't go as high spends less time in the air so a more time in the air b less time in the air so which hits first based on this concept of more or less time now, if you want to see, play around with why this is true, unfortunately, we're not going to have time to do this FET simulation, but if you go to Google and you type FET projectile motion, you can choose the first link, hit play over here, it might give you, and you can choose the lab option, though the intro works too, you can access these options below, and you can keep the initial speed the same, and what you can do is change like the angle, so I'm going to bring one angle down to 30 degrees and or whatever close enough whatever 29 I fire this projectile I can grab this timer and I can go to the end and I can see okay it took the projectile 1.78 seconds to land this distance away now if I change the angle maybe I'll go up to like you know 60 degrees 60 is obviously going to send the projectile higher I hit launch And now I can see how long it took this, 3.18 seconds. Both of them fired with the same initial speed of 18 meters per second. The one that is lower, that doesn't go as high, hits faster, hits sooner, does not take as much time. But the one that travels higher takes much more time, 3.18 seconds versus 1.78 seconds to land. So the higher that projectile goes with the same initial speed, the more time it spends in the air. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Steady well.